Better to lose an arm than a life, but Rudy has experienced both. After the fight against the Hydra, Rudy lost his arm and his dad, which, as mentioned in other videos, is ironically named Hercules. The arm, not Paul. Quite a dark humor joke and foreshadowing that the arm would be lost in such a way. Before we get to the question of whether the arm will grow back, something the Simpsons have also already predicted, let's briefly discuss how the arm was severed. Normally, if you ram not just your fingers but your whole arm into someone's eye, the eye would have more problems than the arm. And that was also actually the case with the Hydra. You just might not have seen it because everything was moving so fast. Even if it was only briefly shown, Rudy used his earth magic to grow a huge rock into the Hydra's head within the blink of an eye, giving it deadly headaches. That was the end for that Hydra head, which was later burned by Roxy. But the Hydra was physically much stronger than Rudy, and his arm, despite being well-trained, felt like a matchstick to the Hydra. The blinking alone had enough strength to crush the arm. Additionally, the Hydra had extremely hard and sharp scales, even on its eye, which led to the same force acting on the arm that effectively shaved off half of Elinalise's shoulder from mere contact alone. In the novels, Elinalise's shoulder was indeed abraded. Not because of a bite or anything, but simply because the Hydra's skin was so hard and rough, and its scales were so sharp that even Elinalise, who could use battle aura to make her body stronger and more resistant, was severely wounded. And the injury was much more severe in the novel than in the anime. Rudy, who couldn't use battle aura and was as resistant as a normal human to damage, had no chance, was thrown around, and had his arm nastily ripped off. This brings us to the use of healing magic. It was not the normal healing magic Zenith used on Rudy for the first time, but Shine Healing, an advanced level healing magic, making it incredibly powerful. While normal healing could only heal superficial wounds, Shine Healing could not only treat such separations of limbs, but also regenerate the wound to a limited extent. This meant a small part of the arm could be restored. Not only was the wound closed, but the blood vessels were healed and now run from the arm stump back to the body. However, Shine Healing was too weak to regrow entire limbs, so even though the wound was well taken care of, Rudy could not grow a new arm. But here's the thing, if the arm had only been severed and not crushed, Shine Healing could have reattached it. Just like modern medicine can reattach severed arms and restore blood flow and function, Shine Healing could have fully restored the arm if the rest of the arm had been held against the wound. But the rest of the arm was obliterated. Even the next higher level of healing magic, the so-called Saint Tier, or level 4, which almost no one in the world can master and use and something that would likely only be found at a wealthy king's court, would only have been able to restore Rudy's arm if at least the bones were more or less intact. So even if Rudy lost his arm, it rotted and eventually became just bones, and it was found a decade later, this level of magic could still have restored the arm. But what Rudy actually needed was the king tier of healing magic to fully restore his arm. However, Rudy only masters the advanced level of healing magic, meaning the arm is lost for now but, spoiler alert, will be replaced by a prosthetic later in the story. It is already established that Zenoba has great problems with fine motor skills, so he builds a glove, the so-called Zarif prototype, to give him more precision when modeling figures. This glove will then be used by Rudy to replace his hand, meaning he now has a mechanical arm powered by his magic without any problems. The prosthetic also gives him tactile feedback, albeit somewhat dull, since this was also important when modeling figurines. So Rudy has regained his sense of touch in the hand as long as he supplies the prosthetic with mana, and the thing is stronger and more resistant than a normal arm. Rudy naturally notices how useful such protection can be, which might eventually lead to the development of armor, but that's a topic for another time. Furthermore, Rudy can channel not only mana but also magic through the prosthetic arm, similar to how Darth Vader uses his prosthetic arm to use Force Choke. Oh, and while his left arm was now gone, his right arm named Hulk was still around, and that's how this funny comment under my video came to be. And yes, as teased before, Rudy will eventually get his hand back entirely, but more on that in another video. That's it for today, and now it's your turn. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments. Okay, bye.